Okay. Well. Well, it's game. And good news. I've done taxes. I just have to file them. And I'm done. Yay. So I can probably do some painting today. I don't know if I'll get done for the weekend. Probably not. But. <sighs> Taxes are done at least. Now, as for Silent Hill, <clears throat> I have very little experience with it. I got maybe 10 to 20 minutes of playing one. And about five minutes of playing two HD remastered. And I saw both the movies some years ago. And maybe three years ago, I watched a complete Silent Hill timeline that I forget pretty much all of. So, yeah, I'm pretty much going in blind. Let's go, new game. Yeah. No, I'm doing good right now. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. <clears throat> they act alone. And need only themselves to survive. No, i never seen anyone actually play this. Those I who betray know. themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. <laughs> There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own. Without a group. If there were only someone <clears throat> who would understand that to adult me. Yeah, I should also mention that it is 9.16 a.m. and I have been up for about an hour and 16 minutes. It's hard work first thing in the morning. Show you something. Can you come to the villa, Maya? <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. Okay, what are the buttons do? That zooms in. Yeah, that's the only button that does anything. Let's raise the volume. What? Oh, controller speaker. That's a snake eater. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I've not been up long enough. Ooh. That's a violent door opening. Do I have a crouch? No. I should be safe for the time being. Welcome to the city of hope. No hope. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? 
This model. Is it this building? Interesting. What the hell? Four, two, six, seven. Freedom. One, no, five, six, four, eight, one, three. Is that a barcode? No idea. It's weird. Yeah, what are you doing? Can I get close to it? <clears throat> oh, there's something over here. Plans to rebuild. Oh my god, no that have suffered yet another major setback as instability caused by the you know pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors yeah i'm not saying that word because apparently that's bad for youtube algorithm previous plans to jump start the town failed to materialize owing to the monastery Monastery instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to evolve. Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Oh, God, it's so early in the morning to be reading. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures due to unfortunate external circumstances. Again, I'm not going to try to pronounce this. Has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to reevaluate the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. <clears throat> A slave to the system. All right, hold on. Let me clear my nose. Okay. Well, I can't save. Can I? No. Let's do a door that it's locked. locked. Marvelous. That's barred off. Okay. Build whatever an overview uh, is a town with a long history and a thriving border stronghold in recent years. Those in their <sighs> 20s began leaving in mass, causing concern. The aim of this wide scale project is to rebuild and restore it to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. Oh, that can't be good. The theme is rev yeah, revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by the Japanese corporations in 08 have been long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. So this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? open now. Strange. Where are you, Maya? Trapped. I've always been trapped. Go back to the blue door. Yes. Okay, we can go down the hall. 
hallway. Oh, the stairs are blocked. Okay, so the uh, hallway is the only choice. Oh, what do we got here? <clears throat> September 28th, oh, 21, notice to provincial meeting. To all the residents, we have received many inquiries about this. Uh, <sighs> about the management of this building after the recent news, we would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find time, a time to attend. Okay. I am really kind of scared. 202 was open. Four is blocked. Two oh five is. It won't uh, open. Where's two oh three? Two oh three is blocked. We're going in two oh two. Maya. Dolls. I don't have a crouch. Don't be manipulated. I believe your senses. Okay. Nope. I'll repaint it all. For graffiti, for graffiti artists, spray paint and a blank wall are all you need. In the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas for several artists with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that her name is CB, which is short for Charlie Gloss. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young. So we reach out, reached out to her for a comment, keeping her eyes fixed on her new PFCs had this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside, but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the yard, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. So we added to the flower she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flower represents the girls overcoming past traumas or at least their desire to do so. <clears throat> okay. Everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's... amazing. Oh, 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 God. The city is a blank canvas, begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Is this CG? Be proud. Because if that was CG, my God, that was so realistic. <sighs> How could I ever be proud of myself? Well, you look like game. That's the thing I just read.
Did I just hear something? What the hell? It is too early in the morning for this shit. What the? Was that there? What? Who's there? <clears throat> Amelia, are you all right? Are you asleep? So sleep, sorry if I woke you up. Didn't see you at your job yesterday. Still not feeling good. You taking your meds, sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Don't worry about it. Uh, how are you feeling? Feeling? I'm okay. I can actually kind of get some rest now. I didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously. Don't worry about it. Okay, I can read. I can learn to read text. All's good now. I am still a little. That was a box falling. It wasn't flat, so yeah. Fall. Still kind of creepy. Well, dude, that happened while playing a horror game. I'm still a little tired, but I'm gonna get up soon. <sighs> That's a relief. 105 is open. Am I gonna be Chase? Or is this just psychological horror? What the hell? Insane, loser, crazy, dumb, creep. Stupid freak. What? Poverty. Curvy. Ugly. Okay. What's with this place? Why all the sticky notes? Never said anything nice. No. <clears throat> Child abuse slash neglect. A recent statistical survey has shown uh, the rate of child abuse in last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe and in Europe now. In recent economies, economic strife and the resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. I thought it was in Japan. Because we're talking about the Japan economic crisis. So why are we talking about Europe now? Where are we? <sighs> My mom loved me. Bed in the middle of a room. Yeah, that's creepy. Who just puts a bed? 
I did not know what the world. Antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously, I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserve it. They feel bad, you know, all of them. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting the feeling that this game is going to be more psychological than actual horror. Is that light on? I don't think the light, on, light was on before. Maya? It's saving. What the? Uh... <laughs> no, it's horror. <laughs> It's a horror game. Oh, what the fuck? Am I safe? Where did it even go? What the fuck was that thing? psychological at this point. I know it's actual horror. You're here? I'm in the studio. Maya? 
There's a monster here. Are you okay? That thing might still be here. Teenage suicide continues to continues at infamous building. <clears throat> Our rooms down apartment complex in has become known for suicide with teenage girls jumping from its roof. Practically Augustes. For suicide with teenage girls jumping off, jumping from its roof practically every year, despite repeat, despite repeat events, the building abandoned ever since the development slash management company declared bankruptcy remains easy accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though, with many continuing to enter and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents. Residents' security concerns continue to grow. Security concerns continue to grow. I can read. Please, not Maya too. She has been acting weird lately. There are seals on the door. I can't be good. And this is another of her work. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Is she not replying? Come on! I have to find her. Oh, I don't have any controls. Get down there, marvelous. So she puts her phone away outside. Inside the fog of social media. Yeah, we are inside a fog right now. Solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the excuses of fees they posted online. <sighs> They also claim they experience anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was an extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety 
and lower their confidence the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fundamental of fulfillment they experience after getting a life online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Okay. It's locked. By the way, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? <clears throat> no way. I'll come back occasionally. My parents would, would give me shit if I didn't come back. Come come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an, an art class. It could be, lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Emily doesn't get it. Gotcha. So you don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town <clears throat> see graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. It might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. There's no way out. Are you here? Is this your studio? Saving. Sketches? <clears throat> These aren't even finished. And they look this good. They seem happy. 
a new life. So full of life. That one was weird. Maya? Are you here? Where are you? Just like this is so dangerous, we need to go. I have to respond, please. Why won't she reply? Where are you? Something's gonna come up behind us, isn't it? Am I going crazy? Maya's death yet? Uh, huh? Why did she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's dead? Wait. Maya's really dead? Oh, uh, that's what we saw from the balcony. Uh, how? How could I forget that? Thank <laughs> you. 
that guy. Died, but her art lives on. Even more followers. No one is ever going to notice me. Don't do it. <sighs> This is where this is I so jumped from. Bad things happen because of you! <laughs> Maybe I can be like her. No. Here goes. Don't do it. Okay. find it this is really you might can't leave till you find it why is that you're not her can't leave till you find it who the fuck is this can't leave till you find it you can't leave till you find it tell me what the fuck <clears throat> okay i really thought that was the end We started. Oh, no, my battery.
these things back. It's all your fault, loser. Uh, what? Who would do this? You would, because you're jealous of her. Take the flashlight. You leave a perfectly good flashlight. This room's open. Okay. Two or three. Okay. Children who turn trauma into tales. Solitude and anxiety in teenagers part two. All the teenagers surveyed suffer from deep psychological issues caused by past experience. And interestingly, oh, oh, sorry. All of them conceptualize those issues in the grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself that she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed somewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigma. Stigmata believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. Those convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. <clears throat> Wait, it's back on. Oh my god. Got a cough. Okay, well, another 
damaged photo by a picture. Uh, how could somebody do this? Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. that room again. Seems perfectly fine before it happened. Is Maya really is dead yet? Yeah. Are you alright? You're getting enough sleep? Kinda. I'm taking some really good meds. That's a good one about therapy. <clears throat> you're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. She'd read recently, so I feel guilty for what happened, even if she didn't tell me yet anything. I should have known something was up. But did Maya really not say anything? <clears throat> like, like at I, all? I... So what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway... I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. Loser. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Letters. You want food? Do what I say! In Japanese culture, there has <sighs> long been a beauty in sacrifice with Hera Kira killing oneself by slicing one's stomach. I mean, the prime example of the idea that was that by taking your own life, you simply weep purge the world of your transgressions 
and purify yourself. This concept can be confused to confusing to many Westerners with young people incorrectly assuming that Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore, and the life they value is not a biological variety, but rather a social one where death is needed to protect that life. Okay. mattresses on the floor and an altar. Belief in the witch of yeah, those who believe in the witch share many practices with modern Wiccans, Wiccans such as praying for death harvest and <sighs> God worship. God. Sorry, Dominic. What sets the practice apart is the uh, slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of the Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange of cultural beliefs, giving rise to the belief in witches. those guys are talking about fortune telling a lot of people are getting into that huh you don't believe in that stuff well I think there's something real about it my great-grandmother was a fortune teller I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. What was that? Oh, that was a film. But they all eventually turned on my great grandmother. I was a little. Guess you can predict other people's futures. But not your own. Tarot cards. <laughs> no point predicting my future. And saving again. Everything, you're a heartless bitch. <sighs> you stole my. Oh god, guys. You like me? No, pass. You stole my only friend, my place in this world, all of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those. Shit stains art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Okay. Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine 
orientation. Dear incoming freshmen, we welcome to Deutschland Medical University founded in 1709. DMU is one of Europe's oldest and most revered hmm. institutions. Its state-of-the-art research facility eagerly awaits your arrival. Orientation details when September 24, 21, 1130 to 1301, where School of Medicine Central aware school of medicine central lecture hall please wear a mask when attending this is for the college amelie wants to go to is she here too you got a minute to talk sure what's up you seem kind of out of it before is something bothering you you can let me know thanks bro fine sorry to bring it up but what a pride Hmm. Nah, it's okay, I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever, unless my brother's coming here. Oh, right. You okay? Yeah, gonna try to avoid him as much as possible. So, shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. Nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself got looks. You just need to find that right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. That's creepy. Alright, I need a bathroom break. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. That's creepy as hell. December 23rd, 2020. I haven't been able to stay since my brother came back from Christmas break. He's nice. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies. Or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school in town showing so much skin. February 21st, 21. I think I'm finally, finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They're, they were yelling at each other again today. I asked mom why, but she wouldn't say. May 11th, 21. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I've worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for both the you and dad. North River. Yeah, that's creepy as hell. Seventeenth, twenty. I finally 
focused on my studies, so I think I might call an all-nighter. If you stop yawning. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me troll or nerd. But I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right. Time to hit the books till morning. November 920. Dad was taken <clears throat> talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got canceled due to. Yeah. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happening, even if things worked out. None of this place, it hasn't been special since I, I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city where college life is waiting for me. Everything is riding on my entrance exams next year. I have to get out before my brother comes. This is what, the next room? Emily's room? Uh, oh. Amelia? Uh, I can't read sometimes. Hey, oh, I can bring up the phone now, that's cool. Do we call for help? Stay home. Stay home alone! Young student found dead, possible suicide, September 25th, 21, at around 11, no, 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof uh, of a, uh, no, the apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital, but was pronounced dead two hours later. <clears throat> According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police still believe her death may be suicide. Amelie's not like this, though. Right? This place is weird, so she could be. August 24, 21. I got some materials from my first choice. In the mail today, I am going to be a college freshman, so I... I'm so happy, I still can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm gonna study my ass off to be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. September 22nd, 21, Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. <clears throat> Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work for nothing? No way, don't leave me. Mom, I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. September 23rd. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I just disappeared. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Amelie hated the way her brother looked at her. When was this? I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. September 25th. on and it happened on the 24th yeah it's possible they're all dead aren't they saving again Thank you. 
it's locked. It's locked. Okay, where am I going then? This is no. What the hell? Oh god, it's high school all over again. School? Oh, this is nice and brightly lit. That's what I'm saying. What language is this? Okay, J U L I. <clears throat> bus, bus, bus. It's German. Okay. So we are. So it's a German school. So I got no idea where the hell we are. Are we in Germany or are we in Japan? Time is it? <clears throat> it is five forty seven, five forty six. I'm hearing something. Huh? Jerry's. What the? Oh. 
Get out, you freak slut! Your art's fucking weird! You're a freak, cocky <laughs> piece of shit! Start my breakfast. Be right back. Waffles are cooking. <laughs> I'm scared to this. We're running. We're running.
Lord, that's what we need to do. Oh, it's me. The girl in this picture is Amelie. Wait, Amelie, I thought it was me. Who am I? Pregnancy test positive. This guy looks familiar. Amelie's brother. They're hurt. Where are you going? <sighs> yeah. That's right. Amelie. Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Feel free to stop by anytime. You're always welcome. <laughs> Maya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. I 
I wrote my impressions in a letter. Girl needs help. Read it when you get home, okay? Where was it? That book. A uh, town cursed by a witch. I don't know, she better play for City Slump, but I continue to see a rapid decline in this population. Birth rate is a year, week seven. Less than half of the German national outlook. Okay, so we're in Germany? Trying to help Germany. Less than half of the German national on average, 1.6 was character shocks by 31%, more than double the average of 15. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has fallen, failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn, which was a Japanese woman who used her better voice to influence the economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed before her death. She is believed to have placed a curse on the town, stagnating its growth. So, it is a curse. But why me? Why do I have to be cursed like this? Find it. Tell me, is this your curse? Find it. Find what in a place like this? All right. Waffles are done. We'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Where is this book? Witch hunt in 1930. Germany, the town attracted wealthy entrepreneur and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity and success. Uh, was well, supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyant and mysterious mystical power to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would greatly, I mean, would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneur suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial park, losing them the majority of their factories. The witch of the Far East, too, was hospitalized, jumped off the roofs of a hospital building, killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness that was, and many believe, the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claimed that the witch hunt was to blame. <clears throat> they argued the witches rose to prominence and angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There is no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as, mere, as a mere conspiracy theory, but the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Oh my god, that background music is so loud. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? All right, let's lower the background music. Oh, well, that's shiny. like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. Ah. <sighs> no way. Of course we're gonna go back to the locker. Are we going to be chased? Probably. I bet we save. I guess we're not being chased. What now? Spiral stairs. It's like that other school. Why does this always happen? I've never seen Maya like that before. Bloody hand prints. You all right, Anakin? You left me on the knee. You left me on the reed, so I was worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. I'm not sure if you knew this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. She said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. But that, then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. That's not true. <clears throat> 209. We're in the school. Watch 
luck change. No, luck's still the same. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. Uh, what? My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? Are you? Zero. Zero, three, one, two. I know what's inside, and I can't look away. Here it is. What's this letter? Is it inside the book? <clears throat> Remember when I said. I wanted to live like a cherry blossom. To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. <clears throat> I want to experience true beauty, if only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world, gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People, people who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together, Amelie. Just me and you. Wow. So she didn't see her. Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just... Uh... Maya, you have everything. You're way more talented. 
wanted than me. So why? Why take Amelie from me, who acted like I wasn't even there? Amelie is my friend. She's mine! Uh, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She, she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. <sighs> How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> What's up? I'm so sorry, Amelie. Maya died. 
because I killed her. What are you talking about? You and Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah, but then Maya jumped off the villa roof. Well, there was supposed to be one in the last book you had, too. What? That letter. That letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you away from me. My mom was right. I should never have been born. Fourth, <clears throat> I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. I couldn't help all the girls who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls killed themselves here. All the teens, supposedly, other places of camps offer people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of the light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little easy. Were they not scared? What were those? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or do something? Uh, 
silent hit phenomenon. Suicide rate has increased around the world in a large part due to struggles brought on by pandemic, with countries still unsure how to best handle the issue. These t- trying times are also giving rise to strange phenomena in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog even on fair weather days and lose consciousness shortly after. This has come to be known as a silent hill phenomenon a similar event that occurred in the Natural U.S. Proposed theory explaining why this is why this could be happening is not XXX the social science at XXX University we had found things but found say on this to one who is psychologically unstable and proud of some sensory in sensory conclusions when in a state of high stress as if one is one is the social uncertainties or apprehension about the future manifestations as well, thus blurring the line between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more cases of the silent hill phenomenon. In response, Dr. XXX calls for a rapid building of society of society as well as stronger emphasis on health, counseling and mental health care for the young.
Okay, I'm back. Why was I down? I don't remember. Hold on. Be right back again. Okay. Where am I going? I don't remember. No, I went this Hold on. I'll be back again. Okay, I'm back. This is our living room. December 29th, 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I've never, <clears throat> I've never seen him again. I thought I found my happy ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost her since. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Children. Children. She has a sibling. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? Hey. 
February 10th, 2012. My new man showed up to my place with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. February 22nd, my daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Right. <clears throat> Why am I? Do I feel so small? I feel so. Oh, I'm a kid again, ain't I? I'm giving up my life for you. I'm a vampire, I have no reflection. March 7th, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and pizza in his hands. From the new place he was raving about, my daughter hated the pizza. Now she is extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. March 22nd. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. Okay, this is getting dark. April 12th, he told me he told me the banging on the closet door. Oh my god. I was making it hard for him to unwind. They would just be quiet. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Yeah, I'm definitely a child. May 9th, 2012. Everything seems to be going well. Now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he brought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. May 25th, I got, ton, 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 I got contacted by the Child Welfare Center. I guess some noisy, noisy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck did they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm fucking, I'm working my ass off, raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? July 15th, 2012. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. They're still in the closet. Or they dead. Miss Trisha 
plan planet we gotta reach out to you <sighs> we have reached out to you repeatedly but have yet to receive a response we take this I mean you have no intention of remedying the issue you are in violation of German civil code yeah okay we're in Germany article 1631 section 2 accordingly accordingly the federal court has instructed us to take your children should you have any objections to this objections to this please contact us as soon as possible Frank for sure uh, child welfare center <clears throat> good Our mother arrested August 4, 2012. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41 year old mother. A person A who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. <sighs> Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him when she noticed he wasn't moving. The next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to her crimes. Whoa. <clears throat> that took a turn. Uh, you just obeyed me again! You can just stay in there! Seeing this room here in the villa, I tried so hard to forget this place. Oh, we're an adult again. <clears throat> oh, my.
saving. We're running again. Of course we are. Yeah. <laughs> 
That is nerve-wracking. Wait. Am I supposed to be finding stuff?
Okay, I'm supposed to be finding items. All right, let me take the bathroom break first. Okay, and apparently there are arrows. So, crank the brightness all the way up. There we go. what you drew me way back. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. what you see? Ha <laughs> ha! 
be alone forever. <laughs> Approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, Papa Graffiti Artist C.B. Maya Paco Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in, she was pronounced dead at the hospital. <clears throat> the death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock not only to local community members, but also to all those who were familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity, the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait, she killed herself half a year ago? And that means I've been here this whole time? What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. February 21st, I've been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I like to think they left this place for something better. I think I finally found, I finally might be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. March 4th, my roof's, my roof place is almost, piece is almost done. It might actually be my crowning achievement, but once it's done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. I guess it was always there. But who knows how often it'll show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm so happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about that, all this. <clears throat> Is this me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So, she did notice me. So we go, I gotta find a piece now. I was so happy when <clears throat> my mom liked the first picture I drew. She's not my right. I could have had a different life, too. I guess someone finally did love me. You 
actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Normally, what should I do? Anita, what's up? I'm sorry, Amelie. I was such a piece of shit. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? I thought I was invisible. That I didn't matter. No matter what anyone said, I didn't listen. Anita? But you... And Maya, both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita, wait. Where are you right now? Thank you, Amelie. You were always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait, Anita! shopping we can talk just the two of us tell each other everything that's on our minds don't go please don't leave me oh, For you, Anita. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. Oh. Well. That was exhausting. And good. So the door's still alive? I thought Amelie was dead. At least that's the impression I got from it. Moving day. It feels kind of scary huh? leaving my hometown, but I'll be fine. I have my best friend with me. Loneliness 
creeping to my okay. skin. Yep. Endless pain. Is that the final painting? Thank you for watching. Later.